Good morning, Valedictory kids. It's Sunday morning and it's time to worship the Lord. So let's give God all of our attention and listen carefully to what God has to say. And please do not distract your neighbors. So this morning, I would like to begin with a question. What is the first thing that you must do when you're in trouble or when you are in danger? And I hope that you all know, and the answer is to ask for help. That's right. We need to ask for help immediately. You can ask for your help from your parents. You can call out, Mommy, Daddy, come help me. But when they're not around, you can always ask for help, anybody who can help you. And especially when you're in an emergency situation, in danger or in trouble, you can always call 911. You can ask for help and they will come in a hurry. Your mom and dad will run to you in a hurry to help you when they hear your cry. And what is the reason we must call for help? What is the reason we must always ask for help when we're in danger and when we're in an emergency? It's because they have the ability to help us when we're in need, especially when we cannot help ourselves. And 911 people, including the police officers, firefighters, and paramedics, they can always help us when we're in physical need, when we're in physical danger. However, what can we do when we're spiritually in need of help, when we're emotionally in need of help, when we're afraid, when we're fearful, when we're heartbroken, when we're sad, what must we do? We must still ask for help and we must ask Jesus to help us. And Jesus wants us to ask for help because he is able to help us in time of need. And many people in the book of Psalms, they have called out, they have cried out to the Lord in several occasions. Look at Psalm 18 verse 6. It says, In my distress, I called upon the Lord. To my God, I cried for help. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. What a wonderful passage. We must call for help. We must cry out for help to the Lord because, why? Because he hears us. Amen? God is not too far off who cannot hear our cry. We don't even have to be loud to cry out. Because every voice that we utter, every cry for help that we utter, God can hear. It reaches His ears. And also Psalm 34 verse 6, it says, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Amen? That is also a wonderful promise. Not only God can hear you, but He is also able to save us from all of our troubles. So Valley Victory Kids, I want you to remember whenever you're in need, whenever you're in trouble, whenever you're in danger, whenever you need help, do not hesitate to call upon the Lord because He hears you and He is able to help. He is with us. He loves us. He is powerful enough to save us. He is kind enough to be with us and to console in our pain. He always hears our cries. So let us always come to Lord in prayer, through the word, with all of our concerns. And trust and believe that not only He will hear you, but also that He will save us. Let's all bow us and pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for your promise. Thank you that you're a God who hears our cries. Thank you, God, that not only you hear our cries, you're also able, you're powerful enough to save us from all of our troubles. So, Father, oh Lord, help us always to run to you. Help us to pray to you every day with all of our concerns. And help us to experience your salvation and your deliverance. And in that, I pray that we would praise you and give you glory. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Mm-hmm.